The hunt is on again tonight for murder suspect Harold Knight. It has been almost a month now since police say he murdered his wife in their Fenville home. Since then, Knight's been spotted in several small towns in Maine, just hours away from where he lived before moving back to Michigan. That's why we sent 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker to the East Coast. He has been talking with investigators as the feds narrow in on the accused killer's location. Now the feds say this is the last place Knight was spotted days after he allegedly strangled his wife at their home in Fenville. They say he stayed here in a small motel for several days. Now this town is about 40 miles from where Knight dumped his Subaru Forester and it's about 70 miles from where he and his wife lived before they moved to Michigan. Locals tell us that they've seen federal agents and state police in and out of town over the last few days. Some have talked about arming themselves. Now, the feds say he was last seen with a dark mustache and dark hair and a big camouflage coat. Agents and those who live here say it would be easy for him to get lost in the woods and the mountains. And hundreds and hundreds of cabins that, that you know, that are summer only, that he could, you know, the possibilities are... You know, it's it's in the summer. It's, it's like ten times the population of summer. There's a lot. Of, it's a big summer resort, and he could be, you know, he could so, be yeah. anywhere. We spoke to a federal marshal just a short time ago. Now he said he cannot confirm that Knight is still here, but he also can't say whether Knight has left. Now we'll have much more tonight at six in Rangeley, Maine. Ken Colker, 24-hour news eight.